Hello guys, welcome back to Science is Confusing for another overview. Today we will take a look at anosmia. At present, it is best known for being a common observation when dealing with COVID-19. So let us begin with what exactly is anosmia? Simply put, it is the complete loss of smell in humans. This may also result in your taste being off. Anosmia may be a result of mild sicknesses such as common colds in which people may get stuffy noses and lose their sense of smell. However, it may also indicate a more serious medical condition and a doctor should be consulted for the same. Anosmia's current reputation as a telltale sign of COVID-19 makes it important for people to take swift action in case the phenomena is detected in an individual. Now the question is, what causes anosmia? Anosmia may be caused by a variety of reasons such as antibiotics, antidepressants, anti-inflammatory medication, heart medications, radiation treatment of head and neck cancers, nasal polyps, small non-cancerous growths in the nose and sinuses that block the nasal passage, nasal congestion from cold, allergy, sinus infection or poor air quality, exposure to toxic chemicals including substance abuse, Injury to the nose and nerves from surgery or head trauma. Old age or pre-existing medical conditions. Symptoms The obvious sign of anosmia is a loss of smell. If one experiences a loss of smell, that can't be attributed to a cold or allergy or which doesn't get better after a week or two, it is best to consult a doctor, preferably an ENT. A CT scan may be necessary for the doctor to get a better look at the area. Anosmia may be treated in several ways. These include smell training and vitamin A drops, administering cerebralisin, a drug of neurotrophic and neuroprotective properties. Steroids probably do not have a role in treatment, but they may help. Now let us look at the relation between SARS-CoV-2 and anosmia. SARS-CoV-2 gains entry to the cell primarily through the interaction between the virus's spike protein, protein S, and the ACE2 receptor in the target cells. Recent research suggests that furin protease is also involved in the process of infection as a site for furin cleavage in the S protein in SARS-CoV-2 and that the cellular receptor neuropilin-1 which binds to furin cleaved substrates potentiates SARS-CoV-2 infectivity thus providing a potential pathway into the central nervous system. The two main pathways of SARS-CoV-2 infection are the hematogenous and the neuronal where nasal cells express high levels of ACE2. With the olfactory route playing a significant role in the SARS-CoV-2 neuroinvasion. Possible viral transport mechanisms via the olfactory nerve and subsequent spread in the CNS in humans are not yet sufficiently understood. SARS-CoV-2 might enter the CNS via either the olfactory or trigeminal route. The ultimate anosmia pathophysiology associated with COVID-19 
is still debated and several mechanisms have been proposed. One hypothesis states that it may result in olfactory cleft obstruction, thus preventing sensory neuron activation in the olfactory epithelium. COVID-19 may induce anosmia in other ways too. A study conducted by Kazzola et al. showed that anosmia and agusia happen simultaneously with observed increase in the levels of interleukin-6, an important pro-inflammatory cytokine. Ham et al. hypothesis also support this, stating that olfactory neuronal function may be affected by the inflammatory cytokine environment in the nasal cavity as in chronic rhinosinusitis. Some studies have reported inflammatory damage to the olfactory epithelium after SARS-CoV-2 infection. This diagram illustrates possible mechanisms that may have involved in the olfactory dysfunction or anosmia in patients with COVID-19. The blue arrows depict the movement of SARS-CoV-2 containing droplets reaching the receptors for smell and the olfactory nerve, which is through the transneuronal pathway. The virus may also reach these structures through the hematogenous route or by breaking the blood-brain barrier. This diagram illustrates mechanisms involved in anosmia and agusia. As stated before, this is by the direct action of the virus and inflammatory reaction mediated by interleukin-6 in olfactory receptors, which result in an impaired sense of smell. Silic acid receptors may also be occupied by the virus itself, accelerating the degradation of taste buds. To conclude, Anosmia is a condition that may cause serious inconvenience in our daily lives. However, this condition in the current pandemic bears more significance as it is one of the more well-known symptoms of COVID-19 and thus should not be taken lightly. Thank you for watching. If you liked our video and would like to see more brief informative ones, Please consider subscribing to our channel as that will keep you updated and helps our outreach. So see you in the next video.